Okay, on this video, I want to show you how to connect to an access database uh, for your data source for the report. So, um, and then we'll just start to make a simple blank report from there. You want to come into Crystal and you want to come over here and pick on blank report. Or you can also pick on file new and make a blank report that way. It's really the same thing. So let's pick on blank report. Now, uh, if your data source is already in the list where it says My Connections, you could just click on that and then make another report from that data source, which is fine. But more than likely, if you're watching this video, maybe you haven't connected to that Access Database at all yet. So you want to come down here and pick on Create New uh, Connection. And then you're going to see that Crystal has lots of different data types it can connect to. Later on we'll have a, a video about how to connect to Excel or to some of the other data types that we see here. But in this case there is a category that's called Access Excel. You're going to expand that. And now you're going to get this screen where you can get more specific. So uh, notice how it says database type. Even though we picked the Access Excel category, notice how there's more than that. There's DBase, there's Excel, HTML, Lotus123, Paradox, and text files. So in this case, I'm going to pick on Access, and then we're going to do a Browse. Uh, now this is going to open up Windows Explorer. Mine happens to be in the My Documents folder. But of course, you can go to any other uh, folder from the Windows Explorer. So I'm going to scroll down here, and I have this Access database that's called tables. So I'm going to double click on that. Now uh, sometimes an access database requires a username and password. If that were the case you would click on this little box and then fill in that information over here on these other fields but this one does not need that. So uh, let me uncheck that and then we're going to pick on finish. Watch this section over here when I pick on finish. Alright, now under the Access Excel category, you see here's the Tables database. You can tell it's an Access database because of the, uh, the MDB extension. And then uh, in the Access database, I can have tables. Um, now, the queries come up either, uh, sometimes they're called views, or more complicated queries are sh show up as stored procedures, as we can see. So we did just make a connection to that Access database. Now we can use any of these tables or even the stored procedures or the views within our query, within our report. So I'm going to pick on orders and then you can see that the orders table is now part of our report. Now we can use more than one of these. Uh, there will be another video later on about how to, how to use more than one data source. So for right now we're just going to use the simple table and I want to click on OK. And then notice how we're in what we call a blank report. Uh, now, there's going to be other videos about describing these sections right now. But in this case, we're just going to move things to the detail area. The detail section is going to show up for each different record in that, uh, in that table. So, watch where I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the field explorer. I'm going to expand that. Here, uh, now, uh, the database fields are the fields that actually come from the tables. There's the orders table that we just chose. I'm going to expand that. And now, here's the fields. Where is it getting these field names from? It's actually getting these from uh, the table in, in, the, in that access database. So these are the actual field names in the access table. Watch what we're going to do. We're just going to pick up these fields and move it right into the port. I'm just going to drag it right in there very easily. Just dragging these fields in. Now this is very subtle, but notice how each field that I've dragged in has a check mark next to it. That indicates that you've used the field at least one time. It doesn't prevent you from using the field more than once, but it just indicates that you've used that field at least one time. In this case, I'm going to use the customer ID and move it right in there. Uh, perhaps we'll have the freight amount, and perhaps we'll have the order amount. I'm just dragging those right in. Now, uh, let's say at the bottom of the page, we'd like to have uh, the page number, uh, maybe the date. Those kind of things can be found uh, under what we call the special fields. There's going to be a, uh, another video about the Field Explorer, so we can get further in detail with this. So I'm going to expand the special fields, and we're going to pick on, uh, I like this page number over here. This says page N of M, which will say like page 1 of 6, or page 2 of 7, whatever it's going to say. Or you can just use the regular page number. Now, I'm going to move the page number into a section that's called the page footer. 
the page footer will appear on the bottom of each uh, report page. So that's why I like to have the page number. And then I'm also going to use the date. I, just, I like this date over here, the print date. That'll be the date that the report was printed. And that'll change every time that you print the report. So I'm just going to pick that up and also move that into the page footer. So let's say now that you wanted the name of your uh, report at the top of the page. Well, that's not really going to be in the field explorer. Uh, that would usually would just be a piece of text. To add a piece of text, we're going to pick on uh, insert text object up here in the toolbar. And then you're going to move that, let's say in the page header section, because that's going to print at the top of each page. So I'm just going to click there, and this happens to be the orders report. So I'm typing that in. Adding text to your report like this is very easy. All we did was we picked on the, uh, the insert text object, and then you move the text where you want that to appear. Now, once that object is in there, just like any object, I can move it by just uh, dragging it across the screen using the drag and drop. Notice when I'm dragging that, these lines come up to help you position your fields. So maybe I want that right there, and then uh, I'm going to make that bold. And then maybe we'll make that a different font size as well. Now, sometimes you have to resize a field. Uh, to resize the field, you're going to use the sizing handles on the left, on the right, on the, the bottom or the top, or in the corners of the field. Now, you can tell you're on a, a sizing handle because your, your mouse will uh, become a double arrow like that. So in this case, I want to go to the bottom sizing handle. And just drag it down so that'll become a little bit bigger. All right. But now we're going to run the report. To run the report, we're going to pick on a view and then print preview. And just like that, there's a report. So um, now, of course, there's going to be other videos about going beyond uh, what we're looking at here. But that's how to get a report started with an access data source. What we really did was we picked on file, new, and then blank report. And then over here, we picked on Create New Connections. And then we picked on the Access Excel category. And we said Make New Connection. And then from there, we picked the Access as the database type. And then we pointed to the Access database with this Browse feature. And that's how we can use Access as a data, data source within a Crystal Report.